Good coffee. I don't know if you can hear them, but the guys are here. They're actively working on the studio, which means there's going to be some background construction noise through the course of this video. I will do my best to minimize some of that noise in post, but I know I'm not going to be able to get rid of all of it. <laughs> Yesterday, I took a day off from recording Vlogmas videos because I wasn't feeling so hot, which means today's Friday and I'm recording Friday's video for Friday. I know. Who'd have thought? So what you're seeing here is probably what you will see tonight on my live at 8 p.m. Maybe I'll get up some gumption to change my shirt. I don't know. Yesterday was a lovely day. We just took it easy. I took a couple of naps. I did a lot of resting. And in the evening, we had Chick-fil-A for dinner. We made it really low-key, very laid back, and it was just what I needed. We do have to run out today and get some stuff. I'm looking over my shoulder in the uh, monitor. I can see my fire has pretty much gone out. I have a couple logs left. We are going to get some more firewood today, so I'm really excited about that. We talked about having a delivery sent to the house. We're not sure we want to do that just yet, only because... It's a little pricey, and we don't know how big those units are, and we really don't know where we'd put it right now. So at least for the next couple weeks, we'll probably just continue buying bags of firewood and picking some up from our friends who have a stockpile of it. And then maybe down the road, once the novelty of that's worn off and I'm in the quilter studio, we'll decide what we want to do in the future. But for right now, we'll just keep doing what we've been doing. Jason thinks he might be able to get that fire going a little bit more because the coals are still pretty hot. Let's see. So Jason's got to go take Zoe to school. He threw some cardboard in there, messed around with it for a little bit and said, see if that catches. I got to take Zoe to school. So... At some point while I'm talking, you might just see flames burst into action behind me. We'll see. There's lots of cardboard stacked in there, and there is a bit of heat and a couple of hot coals. So, TBD. Today's going to be a pretty easy day. I have a live tonight at 8 o'clock where I'm going to do some lanyards and maybe some badge holders. So that's going to be a lot of fun. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified when I post videos or go live. And if you like to get text alerts when I'm live, you can subscribe to text alerts by sending this word to this number right here. I'll also put that in the first comment down below the video. And hopefully I'll be sending you texts next time I go live. All right, let's just dive into these advent packages. because That's what I'm excited to see. Ooh, this one feels like a book. I know it's probably going to be a charm pack, but I swear this time it feels like a book. So Cotton Cuts, Missouri Star. Let's dive in. The Cotton Cuts package says sunshine warms the heart. You will know what else warms the heart? A fire when it's actually lit and going. Ooh, I see a lot of smoke. I think that thing is going to go ablaze in just a minute or two. Let's open her up. Look, I swear it feels like a book. Well, it wasn't a book. But it was paper. <laughs> Take a look at what we got. We have a lovely to-do list in very pretty colors. It says make your own sunshine across the top and it has a coordinating pen with it. There is no magnet on the back, but life hack. You can put your own magnet on this. You can buy sheets of magnets from the dollar store and a lot of them are already self-adhesive. So you just peel the sticker paper and you can put it on the back of your little thing or you can hot glue gun some. And then you can just put it right on your fridge, which is exactly what I think I'm going to do because this notepad is super, super cute. And I am missing a pad of paper on my fridge to keep up with grocery items. By the way, did y'all catch that? 
I didn't see it come to life. I just started feeling heat. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at day number 10 from Missouri Star. Sneak peek for you. It is the Totally Tulips MSQC pattern. The package is a little bit bigger than it's been. Here is day number 10. It feels squishy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, really excited about this. And I'll tell you about it in a minute. That fire is roaring behind me because my husband laid a whole bunch of cardboard right on top of the wood. I'm kind of excited about this package and let me show you why. We have got all of this lovely stuff to make a couple of projects with yarn. Missouri Star a while ago, I think, opened a yarn shop in Hamilton. So this is kind of exciting for me. I don't crochet, but I do dabble occasionally in knitting. So getting some yarn supplies makes my heart a little happy. We have got a few things that we're going to need to make this project. The first thing that we have is a card that has a pattern on one side for tinsel garland and on the other side you have instructions for a pom-pom bag. This is from One Big Happy Yarn Company and I don't know if that is the yarn company that Missouri Star brought into their downtown shops in Hamilton, Missouri but that is the pattern writer for this project. The second thing that we got, which everybody needs if you're going to do some crocheting, is a hook. Our hook is really small, and I'm guessing based on the yarn that this is a US 4 or 5 style hook, size hook, I mean. I couldn't tell you because I don't crochet, so I don't know much about it, but it is a very generic very pretty colored crochet hook. Then we have two things that are kind of fun. The first one that we have <laughs> is Jenny herself. Jenny's going to give us a hand with our project. In fact, she's going to give us two because what this tool is, is basically a pom-pom holder. So as you're making pom-poms or your tassels or whatever, you're going to wrap your yarn around her hands and then you'll cinch it in the middle, clip off of both ends, Make sure you don't wrap it too tightly because then it would be hard to cut. And then you're going to pull it off and you're going to have a pom-pom that you can clean up. If you don't want to make pom-poms, I suppose Jenny could just like hang out at your sewing machine and be like, Yay! You did it! You made another quilt! <laughs> I mean, that's what she's saying to me. This is pretty sturdy. It, it, it's kind of cool. Yeah, Jenny's going to hang out at my machine with me. And then to make the pom-poms, we have a little skein of yarn. Take a look. This is color number 514. It is from Cascade Yarns. It says Cherub DK. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing maybe that's the name of the color. This is 180 yards of yarn that are 55% nylon, 45% acrylic. And it says to work with this yarn, if you're going to crochet it, you need a US 4 to 5 size hook. And you should be able to get 22 to 24 stitches per a 4 inch stretch. So anyway, there we go. I think I read all that right. I'm still very much a beginner and a novice when it comes to yarn. This, I will say, is really nice to touch. It's very soft. It feels good in my hand, which is great because a lot of times when you have acrylic yarn, it doesn't feel so good to me. It feels kind of scratchy. So this one's kind of neat and I'm really liking the colors. I don't know if I would use this for Christmas garland because it's mostly pinks and purples and a little bit of cream in there, but this would be really good for almost anything else. It's not enough to do anything other than maybe some pom-poms or a couple of dishcloths or something, but um, it's a good way to sample their yarn. In fact, I think I might set this aside and let my mama have it when I see her next month. Vlogmas Day 10 is in the books. Time to stop recording, start editing, and get this video uploaded before 9 a.m. Woo! Tight deadline, because it's uh, 8.42. I think we're going to be a little late. 
I'll see you guys all tonight at 8 p.m. on the live. Bye.